you know, th this guy has a style. He, he's, he's a big, powerful, badass heavyweight who moves like a middleweight. Um, you saw tonight what he was able to do to Derek Lewis, completely shut him down. The fight, punched that. I, I, I don't know specific, you know, numbers, but it was in the hundreds, and Derek was like three. I, I mean, he completely shut him down, put on a clinic, looked good doing it, made it look easy against the guy who can, who can turn the lights out with one punch. Um, this kid's super talented, and uh, yeah, listen, when, when you start getting sucked into listening to people talk about, oh, you're boring and you're this and that, you got to tune that shit out and fight your style and fight the way that you fight. And uh, that's what he did tonight. The other thing that impressed me with him is I was curious to see how he was going to stand up uh, to the pressure of, you know, his first big main event, you know, the crowds. It's, 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 it's definitely different. And you're in his backyard. You're in his hometown. So the guy couldn't have shined any more than he did tonight. I mean, you promised a master class coming in. Uh, do you feel like that's what you delivered tonight? Oh yes, I think uh, it, it was uh, it, it was that it was that it touched me uh, maybe one time two time uh, gave me a poke eyes. Mm, my vision was uh, flu comme on dit flu, blurring for all the fight. Uh, it was not easy to uh, manage this, but yes, it was. Uh, I think it was a masterclass. Yeah. Cyril gone was, was too much for him. Cyril gone moves like a middleweight. His footwork is unbelievable. This guy stays on his toes the whole time, stays on the outside and picks you apart. Um, he is a very talented fighter. And uh, he's also, uh, his fight IQ is through the roof. This, this guy's the real deal. Him and Francis is a badass heavyweight fight. Yeah, it's really thankful. I'm really happy. I'm really proud. And uh, this is not, this is not exactly for me. This is for my coach, Fernando Lopez. Um, everybody knows the story with Francis, though he, he was really close to have the bet, and uh, unfortunately, he moved uh, in Vegas. And uh, this is uh, also from my MMA factory, my gym. Uh, this is for the fans in France. This is for my country. So this is for my family. I'm so happy. Yeah. There's no way you could have scripted this. Um, Derek Lewis had no reason fighting Cyril Gane. The guy that he should have fought was Francis Ngannou. Cyril Ghan and Francis Ngannou were teammates. Now, Ghan is the interim, and when you make this heavyweight unification, it's between two former teammates where there's been some bad blood in the, uh, when Ngannou left their camp. There's no way you could have scripted this. I mean, this, this works perfectly. Your, Thank your you, opinion, sir. Right? I'm asking. It works I could not agree with you more. <laughs> you are correct. I know. Great. It's badass, and uh, what, 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 what I love is when we were going into this fight, I was telling everybody, and it's absolutely true, you have two of the best possible heavyweights in the world fighting each other. You have the guy who beat Francis Ngannou, right? And a guy who's undefeated with the whole backstory that you just said, right? The, this fight got a lot of heat, created a lot of interest. Cyril Gon goes out tonight. He looks incredible. Like he said earlier, we've been working a long time on getting France open. France is open now. And we just got an, a, you know, a TV deal in France. And uh, here we are. And now, the two, I, I mean, it, 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 what you always want to do when you either build fighters, build fights, or, or, or put on fights, is you want to have the best possible guys fighting each other that you possibly can. It doesn't get any better than this. You couldn't write it. You couldn't script it. Vince couldn't have wrote a better script for this whole thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And I agree with you, sir. And I'm glad you noticed. Neither you are the best. The? <laughs> I don't want to say that because the champion is still Francis Ngannou and I want to, I must to fight all the guys of the, of the, of the roster to be, uh, to be the best. I, I think I need to prove, uh, I just started, so I need to prove for um, uh, a few years and after that maybe I'm going to say yeah, I'm the best. Dana said that that's the next fight. Is there a real beef between y'all, or is it just competitive, like who is the better guy? Oh, no, for me, it's just a sport. No, no, it's just a sport. It's just a sport. I just, just want to make a show. I just want to do a performance, and uh, this is my job. This is my job, and I just want to make money with that. The beautiful thing about this, this division right now is we have this fight tonight, now, Francis versus, uh, uh, you know, Cyril. 
and you got John Jones out there in 2022, and you got you got Stepe out there still too. So that means there's a lot of fun coming up over the next you know year, year and a half. This is my message. Uh, when I started the MMA, um, <clears throat> when I did very well in my in my career. The message was exactly that. Yeah, everything is possible. Believe in yourself. I can do it. You can do it too. It's really possible. You are uh, in the good gym. You have Fernando Lopez, Ben. You have the, the biggest trainer in, the, in France, uh, in Europe, in the world. And, uh, and um, you, you are on the good place, my man. You, you just believe on you and you're going to do it.